So the product we're going to be testing here today are a couple of cast iron discs. Um, they do have some textural changes as well as geometrical changes in the material. Um, to be able to grab something like this, you need something that's going to be going to be flexible and able to um, conform to the different changes in, in surface texture and geometry. So what we're going to use is a uh, VGS3010 for the vacuum generator. It has the SI08-3 coax cartridge in it. Um, the SI08-3 is designed around high flow, so we're getting um, about 3 CFM of vacuum flow out of it, 1 CFM of air into it. That's about 87 PSI air. Um, connected to that, we have a Pie Grip single bellow um, 41 millimeter bag lip cup. So the bag lip cup is a thin silicone material. Um, what that does allow us to, to conform to different textures um, and geometrical changes like you would see on a bag. Um, but perfect for conforming around the bumps and um, texture on these cast iron products. Second product we're going to test is a, or second cup we're going to test is a Piger cup as well. Um, but this is what we call our, our soft foam lip. Um, so a foam is able to conform around textural um, and geometrical changes um, on products as well. So let's first test this bag lip, um, see how well it performs on these couple of discs. We'll start with a small one first, come down on the product. It doesn't grab it immediately, you kind of do have to give it some push before it grabs, and you kind of have to hit it right in the right spot. Um, there are two different sides to this, so there may be some differences there. You do have to hit it pretty much dead center um, to get a reliable pick. The larger one, not, not as much. Um, you can see the, the lip is flexing up and around um, those geometrical changes on the part. But you do get a, good, a pretty good hold there. So we'll change that cup out real quick to the foam cup and see if we can get any better performance out of it. We'll start with a large one here. Very easy to pick. Um, as soon as you make contact and compress the cup around it a little bit, you can see it's conforming around the texture of that, that product there. It does take some vigorous shaking to, to get it to, to drop for both you know, robotic movement. It does hold pretty well. So now we'll grab the small one with the same cup. And same thing, you can see the textural uh, changes there, and it, it, or too much of changes, it's conforming right around it. So Again, a good hold there. Move it up, down, and around. So a foam, foam lip pie grip cup, um, this one is about 50 millimeters. Um, it is 50 millimeters, so about two inches diameter. Um, single bellow, you can configure it with up to three, uh, three or six bellows, or just a single bellow, or just a flat cup with the foam lip, um, which does have you know compensation in the foam itself. And it's attached to a single VGS 3010 um, would be a great solution.